Hello, I'm Roy. I just want to discuss shortly about gravity. And since I am not from the planet Earth, I really have a hard time explaining something I really don't understand. No, I'm really serious. Um, it took me a while to figure out how to uh, tell you how gravity works. And from what I gather uh, since the Earth began, uh, all the scientists in the world still don't know what the fuck gravity is. And I just need to help them because, well, <clears throat> this is going to sound like I'm making this up, but in reality, I am God. And if I could just get out of the straight jacket that I'm in right now. <laughs> I will demonstrate to you how much. <laughs> okay, let's talk about gravity. In short, the Earth is in short. Thank you. In short, the Earth is inside of a dome, a super translucent dome, and that's uh, has a positive charge. And the reason why it may also have a positive charge is because of the sun and um, it could also inhibit a negative charge but for the most part uh, the, 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 the dome has a positive charge the earth in general has a negative charge so in, in turn uh, we are a giant battery Yes, we're still talking about the Energizer Bunny. And that person who has been monitoring my um, conversations puffed the magic dragon. No, you think it's funny. And, um, you know, ever since I made mention of the, uh, the dragon, um, I've, I've not heard any laughing from the dragon lately. And I don't, I don't know if it's because I said something that I hate your feelings, you know. And I have an inclination that you have a crush on me, but I'm hoping. I just want to let you know that when it comes to relationships, I'm a giver, not a taker. And I hope that you're not a... You're, you're, I hope that we're both not the same sex. Okay, enough of that. Um... <laughs> I could go a lot. Of, I could go a lot of places with this, but I know that in reality, I get nowhere fast, especially dealing with a dragon. Come here, big. Oh boy. Gravity. Gravity uh, is quite amazing, and the reason why gravity exists is because of the dome up there. You have the pressure of the dome, the pressure pushes. So there, the earth is enclosed in pressure. When you have pressure like that, uh, no matter what, even if you're able to um, t change the density uh, as ratio to the, the, the pressure that you're able to push up with um, using aerodynamics. And I have no idea what the hell I'm talking about right now. I'm not a professional. Even if I am a professional, I really sound very unprofessional right now and confusing, so I won't cover it. Just like, don't be surprised. Your government does this to you all the time. So does the scientists. So don't act shocked when I begin to go into a topic and run. Because I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. And this is... This is what, this is who runs this country. Not me, just people like me. We're fucking idiots. And I, I don't know how we got the job of running the world. I think it has a lot to do with me. No, no, seriously. I think it has a lot to do with me being God. So I have to blame myself for all this shit. And... Generally speaking, uh, people 
uh, we the earth is has a negative charge and so the earth is pulling and the dome is pushing however we have to understand that we're dealing with two types of magnetisms here and I'm not talking about sorcery although thank you thank you although in reality I am it's magic it really is black white purple green yellow choose your color it's magic and in my case I'm translucent the earth has a negative charge and the dome has a positive charge and the earth has um, different types of um, elements and it has different type of properties the earth and people we all carry uh, small portions of magnetite in our blood our brain, our bodies and they, someone asked well why don't if we are magnets then why don't we just slam to the ground it's because she didn't make it's because she didn't make the cut in the WWE tournament that's why you didn't get slammed to the ground you idiot no you're not made out of a fucking uh, magnet you're uh, completely your flesh and blood yeah I know it took a Google like me to tell you this but if you did swallow a bunch of magnets I don't think you're gonna slam to the ground however if you did fly up gradually you would slam to the ground because the earth has the earth is a lot like people the uh, magnetism electrically and also um, whatever the hell I'm trying to say non-electrically <laughs> is spread out the atoms are spread out the magnetite the attraction is spread out and so they say okay we have a negative charge no all just about everything carries a negative and positive charge you dumbasses what's wrong with you the, the opposite side of a fucking magnet is it, uh, positive is negative magnets are constantly pushing and pulling it's a it's a love-hate relationship it's a marriage we talked about this damn it if I can't explain this blame your mom and your dad them not loving each other right seriously and I guess since I am God and my wife is Isis I'm pretty sure when you get to heaven we'll tell you all about it <laughs> oh gosh man I've lost it <laughs> yeah the pressure of the dome the pressure of the dome is pushing down and uh, when you elevate uh, to a certain uh, frequency you begin to ch um, um, positive to positively charge and the pushing effect starts into processing it. also the pulling effect of the earth so when you get so far up uh, your rockets won't even in a lot of cases the rockets will not even hit the dome you know if you were to shoot a rocket up there uh, the ions inside of uh, helium and balloons um, because their uh, the um, atoms are changed, they'll burst and they'll come back down. There's a force field there. A lot of a lot of <clears throat> unless you have a lot of speed there, a lot of things don't even hit the dome. But we do have evidence that uh, people do hit the dome. You know, giants such as uh, uh, Goliath, Wilt Chamberman. Yeah. Okay. Um, 
also in dealing with uh, I wanted to cover sh very shortly and briefly and uh, name um, some things that was dealing with uh, uh, I did make mention about uh, the charge and how our bodies are uh, electrically charged and how we're, it's negative charge we're pulling when you fly up you, you begin to get a positive charge it pushes but there's still pressure there there's so many factors the pressure is there you're going to come down the pressure will push you down uh, slowly and then as you get closer to the dome your charges and because you have the factors the factors is the sun the sun is a factor positively charged now however you know the moon the moon could have a negative charge seriously so that could pull you to the dome and you could be like Will Robertson and lost in space forever danger we talked about this now, if you heard my other jokes I know you don't find this very amusing hey this this bastard he said this before so let's say something I haven't said um, um, which is absolutely nothing <laughs> I said it all. This is time travel, remember? Chemtrails are full of uh, different types of chemicals which are dangerous to the health, the well being of everything in this planet. Chemtrails are there to help stimulate death, unfortunately. And to also hide something, hide the reality of where we exist and how we exist and it serves a multitude of purposes. Chemtrails have house something that I hadn't mentioned much of and that's Freon. Now Freon is flu. It really is. It causes the flu and I'll prove it. No, it's, it's fluor fluorinated hydrocarbon and when dealing with when deeply inhaling this stuff this is the fall right now we're in 2015 of November and what's been going on is that we've been deeply inhaling this stuff and it's cut off our vital oxygen levels our lungs we've been having burning burning in our, our and okay what does Freon do? It, it, we've been having dizziness headaches irritation to our lungs uh, our nose and our throat and uh, it causes pain in the head dizziness headaches and sinus pressure what does Freon does? <coughs> It's a refrigerator. Uh, we're talking R134A, R22, uh, R410A, R12, R2D2. No, seriously, ask. No, I'm serious. The, uh, the R2D2 is very resourceful. Ask Ben Kenobi, he knows. And uh, yeah, they've been using these things. Um, and it's basically a poison. It poisons our our bodies and causes this, and so that's why the dizziness and the, and it also causes heart palp uh, palpitations and organ damage, and, and in some cases sudden death, which is not good. And uh, basically, that's all I wanted to cover, and I'm hoping that you. Uh, your eye can be open and that you really, yeah, seriously. We're dealing with a technology that has been in existence since the beginning of the earth. In order to understand, we need to, uh, to, uh, to uh, understand um, that I can't talk straight. <clears throat> That's the first thing we need to get cleared out. We have to have clear physical evidence. There has to be no dissimulation. If it's animated, and if it's illustrated through graphs and pictures, it could be deception. Most likely it is. It has to be clear physical evidence. Everyone across the board must provide this and that's what I'm all about right now and if you follow my science you will unlock the secrets to the universe until I see you where I am already open your eye seriously open your eyes <laughs>